Welcome to another episode of Sick of Being Lonely. Are you sick of being lonely? If so, visit sickofbeinglonely.com because we can help. Now, today's topic is about rebound relationships. Now, some of you listeners may currently be in a rebound relationship. I'm going to give you a couple of pointers on how to identify if you are indeed in a rebound relationship. So without further delay, let's get started. When you meet a young woman and you ask her when her last relationship was, or her last serious relationship rather, if it was within the last year, if she's been in an LTR for the last year or so, she could be potentially looking for a rebound guy, bounce back guy, guy to get her validation points back up, a guy to remove some of those insecurities. She may have been left for a younger woman, a thinner woman, a more attractive woman. So she's looking for guys to prop her up, to invest in her penny stock in hopes that it appreciates. So you may be one of these guys who find yourself dating a woman that may be out of your league and you think is the greatest thing that happened to you. But in essence, you are just filling the rebound role. Much like a um, basketball game. The game's a blowout. It's fourth quarter. You pull the starters out and you put the, the bench and bench players and draft players in. Just to, you know, it's called garbage time. Garbage minutes. It doesn't really count for anything. It's just what it is. So that's what you're essentially doing. You're playing garbage time at that point. Um, and when she's healed, she's been wounded emotionally. When those emotional wounds heal and they're mended, then she will may she may be she may keep you on the team, may G League you, put you down a G or D league, or maybe trade you to another team. You may not get any minutes. Now, you may have invested a lot of time, money, energy, and resources into this rebound relationship because unbeknownst to you, she was invested. So the first thing you'd want to do is identify when her last LTR was. And if she is healed from that, what stage of healing is she in? Is she in the beginning phase, the middle phase? Is she walking? Is she using the walker? Is she going to physical therapy emotionally now? Or not? And do you want to sign up for that? Red flag relationships, we covered that in the other episodes. Do you want to sign up for that? That could be an uh, indication of a red flag. Now, I'm not saying don't have sexual relations with her or befriend her or see where her head is at. However, I'm saying proceed with caution because you don't want to be the rebound guy. The rebound guy is not the guy she's going to respect. When she comes out of her emotional haze, it's like being hit with a good right hook or left hook as a boxer. She's not clear. She's cloudy minded. So she can't see clear. So she'll she'll taxi with you. She'll park with you. And you may take that as being emotional affection. She's showing you some form of affection by spending time with you. No, she is healing. Know the difference. It's very important you know the difference. And you may want her to really like you because you really like her, but don't be stupid. Don't be foolish. Another way you can tell if you're the rebound guy is if she is in contact with her ex-lover. Does that make sense? If she's still in contact with her ex-lover who's planted all that maternal and spiritual DNA inside of her vessel... She is trying to wean herself off of him by using you. Hence, you're a rebound guy. It's much like a heroin addict that goes for treatment and is then prescribed methadone. You're the methadone. You're not as potent as the heroin. You're not as addictive as the heroin. And you're used as a means to wean the addict off of that drug. That's it. Once the addict is weaned off the drug, they have no use for the methadone anymore. 
You understand what I'm saying? Don't be the methadone. Now, you may be saying it's an easy target. She's vulnerable. You just want to have sex. It, that'll be it. But you may like the sex. And then you may start to develop an emotional connection and bond with her. You may begin to pair bond with her. And she's already capped herself at five random sexual interactions before she can begin the healing process. Let me tell you what women do when they're hurt emotionally. Some of them try to sleep their way out of it, their emotional wounds. What they're attempting to do is form another pair bond with another individual so they don't feel the strong pair bond with the individual, the individual they're trying to leave or they've been left by. So those speed dates, serial sleep around, and you may be just one of the casualties of that. Now, here you are thinking that you're in a potential relationship situation. Or you could currently be in a short-term relationship with one of these people. It will not go your way, I guarantee that. Because they never looked at your application. They never looked at your application. They never reviewed your skill sets. They had no interest in hiring you long-term for the position. So stop pretending that you're not employed by a temp agency. You're embarrassing not only yourself, but your peers. Now, if some of you guys have friends in these situations, it is your duty and obligation to pull them to the side and say, hey, man, she's hot. I get it. But stop embarrassing yourself. And sometimes that really helps. Be your friends for a reason. Because what you don't want to do is she'll settle for you when there's no other suitors and says, okay, this guy's still around. I've slept with 80 other guys and he's still here. So let me just settle down with Doug. So Doug thinks he got one. She has a few children and she may get a new job or something. And then she meets a new guy that actually stimulates her in the way that the guy who was before you stimulated her. So do you think that woman will then hesitate to monkey branch over to that guy, barring the fact that you have offspring? Absolutely not. She's never taken you seriously. You are merely a rebound guy. Some women heal faster than others. Her ex-lover may have gotten married, which prompted her to want to get married to you. So it doesn't seem like he one-upped her. There's a litany of reasons why... Women do these things. The most important of which is emotional stability. So I would suggest you do a relationship evaluation or a relationship audit to see if you are indeed the rebound guy. All right, guys, that concludes another episode of Sick of Being Lonely. Are you sick of being lonely? If so, you can visit sickofbeinglonely.com because we can help. And oh, yeah, standard rates may apply. <laughs>